Hey everyone, Dave here, and today we check out the official release to Pavlov Shack. It is definitely a long time coming, I think a couple years, pretty much. I think everyone is familiar with this because it was like a side quest legend and maybe similar, if not even better, in terms of popularity comparing to Gorilla Tag itself. We've done Pavlov videos already twice on the channel, and I feel like every time I felt rather unimpressed simply because we've had so much much oversaturation with the genre that it seemed like this game was always too late and outdated of the current stuff going on. The trailer today will be short but again it's the same stuff that I've seen so I'm not sure where's this upgrade over the years and who knows if Meta was hesitant to put it on the official store just because of that fact or just waited for the perfect opportunity just before Christmas to release like could be as well. So Pavlov Shack is a multiplayer action shooter game where you can play a variety of games whether it would be a classic team death matches, a TTT <laughs> mini detective simulator, the monsters overrun and zombies mayhem or even control a freaking tank around. The biggest problem for me always was the optimization and just the performance itself. Every time I played it was just rank and the frames were dropping, textures not being sharpened, just just really low quality stuff overall. I wonder if that will change and that's why it's coming out now because we have quest 3 and it could potentially handle all the mismatches in the coding. I'll try to like refresh the whole experience and do it maybe from start to give it a second, third, whatever the goal. But the most important question is gonna be is it really too late? Because the whole genre is pretty much established, we don't really need anything else and if this one will be one of the last ones to ever appear like I would be perfectly happy with that. We know what's going here anyway so let's just straight up go into the gameplay and figure out if it really is the one. <laughs> let's jump back to Pavlov. Welcome to the Pavlov tutorial. To use the radio place your hand near your ear and hold the trigger. I feel like I'm the third time here. <laughs> I mean that could be very much true. Let's start out the locomotion. Put your hand near your ear. To sprint, click in your movement joystick while pressing forward. Make sure to keep your weapon lowered. To open the buy menu, click in the thumbstick with your right hand. What I appreciate now is that everything is very much clearer. Still the textures could be better, but it's not the worst that I've seen. Close the buy menu, keep your thumbstick centered and press trigger. Proceed through the open doors to continue. Place your dominant hand over the weapon on your hip and press grip to equip your secondary. Place your off hand over your ammo pouch on your hip and hold trigger to grab a magazine. Place the magazine into the weapon. Grab the charging hand. Grip the weapon with your off hand. Shoot all the targets to continue. Grip the weapon with your offhand to stabilize it. This is nice. Shoot all the targets to continue. Remove your magazine by placing your hand over it and pressing trigger. Place your offhand over your... Grip the weapon with your offhand to stabilize it. Shoot all the targets to continue. I'm normally not a fan of... Grip the weapon with your offhand to stabilize it. Shoot all the targets to continue. <clears throat> Normally not a fan of uh, having trigger and grab button inverted in the shooters, but it is what it is. I mean, in terms of accuracy and shooting this, like, pretty top tier. Release grip to drop your weapon. Place your dominant hand over your shoulder and press grip to grab it. Place your off hand over your ammo pouch. Place the magazine and grab the charging. Grip the weapon with. Shoot all the targets to continue. Grip the weapon with your off hand to stabilize it. Shoot all the targets to continue. Grip 
press B to drop your magazine. What about manually? Place your offhand over your place the magazine and grab the charging. Shoot all the targets to continue. Press grip to drop your weapon. Place the attachment over the Picatinny rail and hold trigger to select the location. When the attachment is in the to remove attachments, hold the weapon sideways. To remove attachments, place your hand over it and release grip to drop your weapon. I don't think that was before. Proceed through the open doors to continue. With your dominant hand, use grip to grab the grenade off of your butt. Place your hand over the grenade pin, hold the trigger, and pull the pin. What about the... Mouth mechanics? <laughs> Damn it, <laughs> I always check it in the games. Press trigger to begin cooking the grenade. Oh. <laughs> Head upstairs for bomb training. Okay, that works. <laughs> Enter the digits that are displayed in the top left corner using your hand. I wonder if it's because I never tried Pavlov in the Pro. Like seeing through the packing lenses, this changes dramatically. Top left. To plant the bomb, place it on a highlighted plant site. To defuse the bomb, enter the code displayed in the top left corner, or purchase a pair of clippers from the buy menu and clip the wires. Oh, it's longer. To open the main menu, press the menu button with your non-dominant hand. To close the main menu, press the menu button with your non-dominant hand. Where are you? <laughs> you have completed the tutorial. You could grab the door handle to head back to the shooting range to work on your aim, or open up the main menu and select a mode. Let's just go. We've seen zombies and I didn't necessarily like it. But maybe we should just do some onlines in a spirit of the official release. <laughs> huh. Some Venice of some sort. Wait, what the? <laughs> Shotgun on long crunch. That always worked. I can't really go that close. <laughs> Was there a reloading for the shotgun?
Let me work with a pistol. Can I change it? I mean, actually, this might be better. It's not like the graphics are terrible, but it's not great either. Can I jump? I look like such an amateur. Oof, that's rough. Canvas is just dropping. Where's the thing? Maybe it's like automatic. It's here. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> My aim is terrible. <laughs> Like I need to know how the each gun works. Okay, let's switch for something else. You guys feel like the game runs a little bit better, or is it just me? Actually, yeah. Oh shit. Definitely feel like it. Oh. We're in CSGO now. <laughs> oh my god, this... Is so weird to play. And be like literally inside. <laughs> what I'm doing with this. I'm back, it's about to be real. Watch B. Where are my shotguns? Free guns! Diversion! I mean, I know this map though, so... I can move in certain spots I'm familiar with. <laughs> I 
and it's time to stop. <laughs> but I'm actually impressed with the performance, which was always a problem, I feel like. And also the gameplay, like it feels very realistic and it doesn't seem like anything is an obstacle anymore. It's a fully fleshed release with things working properly and the gameplay is finally realized. I still feel like the textures could be a little bit better considering we are now like three generations past the actual quality we should be getting but things are clear I don't see any junk whatsoever at least in the actual multiplayer matches it seems like it's still very much popular dude so Pavlov is not dead after all <laughs> so pretty much everything is check 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 just the textures could be better but at last I see this game being finally worthy of what it has been praised for for like it feels like eternity <laughs>